All right, new tonight, a group of people calling for transparency from the city of Bloomington this after learning about a plan to purchase an armored truck for the police department. Yeah, several of those people attended a town hall meeting on the topic tonight. 24-hour news eight's Megan Sanctorum was there as the meeting got heated at times. This is the most shameful, disgraceful display I've ever seen. One by one, they lined up to talk. Dozens of residents sharing their opinion on this metal plated truck designed to resist bullets. I think it, it's going to show, start a shift in our cultural in our values. We let one vehicle in, so then we may need a different piece of equipment. One thing leads to another, as the song says, and we want to stop it at the beginning. Protesters also say the city was not transparent before signing a contract to purchase this truck. I will admit that we did not do a good job of, of getting um, this out to the, to the general public. The vehicle would replace a similar one the department had years ago, but retired due to mechanical failures. It was not abused uh, so far as I can tell, uh, and we live in a dangerous world. The cost of this new one, about $225,000. It's not uh, an offensive vehicle, it's a, def a defensive vehicle to protect uh, the members of my department when they respond to high risk situations where, where usually gunfire is involved. But some here tonight say it changes the relationship between the public and the police. Suddenly they go from being protectors and guardians to having more of a warrior mentality. There are still three remaining town hall meetings on this topic. We'll have the dates and times posted on our website, wishtv.com. If this purchase does end up going through, the truck will be delivered here in Bloomington this summer. Reporting in Bloomington, Megan Sink. Forum 24 Hour News 8.